Alright, now let's do factoring. So, let's touch up on the basics of factors. Let's get the factors of 15. The factors are basically the numbers you multiply in order to get that specific number. So the factors of 15 would be 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. And those equal 15. So essentially your factors are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Correct? Let's do one more. Let's get the factors of 12. What are the factors of 12? So the numbers you multiply would be 1 times 12 and 3 times 4. Those are your factors for 12. Okay, there's also another important thing to discuss with factoring, and it is called prime factorization. It's essentially only the prime factors of that specific number. Let's do 24. There's actually a good way to get pr the prime factors, and it would be through a spider web method. Essentially, you would do 2 times 12. That's one factor. Here's, here's a prime factor, so ignore that. Here's 12, and 12 would be 3 times 4. Yes? So here's a prime factor. Ignore that. And here's 2 times 2. So the prime factors here would be 2, 2, 2, and 3. That's 24. Let's try a bigger number now for prime factorization. Let's try 1,000. What are the prime factors of a thousand? And prime factorization also helps you realize the factors of a thousand. So you're killing two bird two birds with one stone. So let's start with basics. Two times five hundred is a thousand. Here's one prime factor. And then two times two fifty. Here's one prime factor. And then two fifty goes into two and one twenty five. Another prime factor. 125 will go into 5 times 25, and 25 will go into 5 times 5. So the circle numbers are your prime factors, or essentially 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, and 5. Okay, now we are going to attempt to factor a quadratic equation. Works that. Okay, so let us factor x squared minus x minus 6. Okay, so how would you factor this? First of all, you have to be familiar with quadratics and the basics of it. So let's see. First, you have to get two main units of the equation. Since this is x squared, it's going to be x, x. Also, before we cut, continue on, it's important to note that the FOIL method here, basically you're doing the opposite of the FOIL method. Okay, so the numbers here. You have to figure out two numbers that would have to be, when multiplied, equal to negative 6, and when added, equal to negative x. Yes? So, what are two numbers here that works out? Hmm. Let's try negative 2 times 3. So, 3 times negative 2 equals negative 6. Yes, that checks out. And now let's, let's attempt to add both to equal to negative x. Okay, so 3 plus negative 2 equals 1. That does not equal x. So, let's try again. This is basically attempting on and on until you get the right one. Eventually you will get better at this. Okay, so that didn't work out. Let's try the 2 to be positive and the 3 to be negative. So negative 3 times 2, positive 2, equals negative 6. That works out. Now negative 3 plus positive 2 equals negative 1. That also works out. So that is how you factor a simple quadratic equation. As we continue on, we will factor more and more different types. There are many different types of ways to factor these and different types 
of e quadratic equations. And we will go on with that as we continue. So this is the basics of factoring. This is for a quadratic formula.